Motorsport as a whole is a display of dazzling speed from the cars and the drivers that pilot these swift machines. Even though it's the drivers that take credit for their success as they step on the podium, there is a lot that goes on in a team's garage at any given race. Apart from the drivers, there are hundreds or even thousands of people that work behind the scenes, right from the engineers and analysts to manufacturers and the media people. While most of the staff work at the team headquarters, there are a select few members that are required to travel around the globe with the team and be present at the track to provide critical support whenever required. These might include the on-site strategists, analysts and more importantly the pit crew. Pit stops in F1 have evolved significantly over the years. Back in the 2000s, pit stops generally took 6 to 12 seconds, primarily due to refueling. But these days pit stops are literally a matter of a second or two and can make all the difference in securing a win. This is why the job of a pit crew is essential during a race. So what does it take to be part of a Formula 1 pit crew? And how much can you earn as a member of a pit crew? To answer that, let's dig a bit deeper now. Contrary to popular belief, members of the pit crew are more often than not mechanics who work on various parts of the car. These include the front and rear end mechanics, the number one mechanic, the chief mechanic and a few others. Although pit stops are only a part of the overall job, it involves serious risk as anything could go wrong in those intense moments. For this reason alone, the crew is made up of strong, brave and quick individuals who are fairly compensated for their efforts. An F1 pit crew usually consists of 20 to 23 people, depending on the changes that need to be made, along with a few people as backup in case of equipment failure. Starting off with the front and rear jackmen, they're responsible for lifting the car with specialized jacks when it comes in as well as withdrawing the jacks as soon as the tires are fitted on. They make around $150,000 annually, earning $3,000 per race and an added bonus of $500 for a race win. The front jack man in particular is more vulnerable to injury if a driver overshoots their mark during entry. Therefore, an additional jack man remains on standby to avoid delays due to malfunctions. Next up are the tyre carriers. These are eight crew members with one carrier in charge for removing the older tyre and another one for replacing it with a newer tyre. Tyre carriers on average earn $270,000 per annum, making about $3,500 per race plus another $2,500 on winning the race. The wheel gun operators or tyre changers as they're known are the ones armed with a high pressure pneumatic gun at each wheel to screw and unscrew the wheel nut accordingly. They bring home roughly $5,000 per race, $2,000 $2,500 as a winning bonus with yearly earnings of approximately $350,000. Interestingly, gun operators usually carry a main and a spare pneumatic gun which are fitted with a lighting system that automatically sends a signal once the wheel nut is tightened. Moving on to the stabilizers, they're in control of the vehicle once the jacks are set in place. F1 cars tend to destabilize and can even topple when they're lifted up, which is why the stabilizers are required to hold the car firmly in place on either side while the crew perform their respective duties in the meantime. They rake in around $90,000 each year, earning $2,500 for each race and a winning bonus of $250. Further along are the wingmen. No, not that one. <laughs> These are actually two crew members who look after the front wing, making any necessary adjustments in terms of angle or even replacing the entire wing if it's severely damaged during the race. The wingmen each draw a yearly salary of $150,000, with per race earnings of $3,000 and an incentive of $500 for race wins. Then of course is the fire extinguisher man, who as the name obviously suggests stands in command of the fire extinguisher during a pit stop on the off chance that the car might erupt in flames. This role became a necessary fixture after Joss Verstappen's unfortunate fire in the pit lane which led to safety focused improvement. Ideally, the fire extinguisher man receives $30,000 per annum with each race bringing in $500 and a win bringing in an additional $250. Finally, we have the lollipop man, a job formerly carried out with a traffic lollipop to indicate where the driver's garage was located, and also used to signal when it's safe for the driver to change gears. These days, a traffic light system is used instead, which reduces the risk of human error. However, it's still crucial to have a crew member look out for oncoming vehicles and ensure that the pit stop is correctly done. The role is mostly taken over by the chief mechanic, whose primary job is to oversee the car being built as per the specifications. The chief mechanic also picks the mechanics who will be part of the pit crew and coordinates with them, playing a vital role in the crew. Being a senior member of the team, they can easily pocket anywhere between $800,000 to $1 million, making around $10,000 on a race weekend and an extra $5,000 as incentive. 
Even though not much has changed in the last few years, mainly because of rules that ban the use of powered devices in pit stops, there have been a few roles that have disappeared from pit crews due to technological advancement or due to regulation changes made by the FIA. So let's take a look at some honourable mentions. The Refueling Man they used to be in charge of refueling the vehicle during pit stops. This included tasks like inserting the fuel hose and making sure that no fuel is spilled. However, the FIA banned refueling from the 2010 season, which forced teams to do away with the job. Another such job was that of the starter man, who was required to be on standby with a starter tool in the remote possibility of the engine stalling during a pit stop. With cars now having anti-stall systems built in to prevent the cars from stalling, this job has now been discontinued. As the FIA continues to bring new regulations to make the sport more and more exciting, it's uncertain whether pit stops will undergo any major development. Pit stops are undoubtedly a spectacular feat of human reflexes and agility, with teams breaking previously held records each season. While they're an integral part of race strategy, they also make for an entertaining watch for fans, and if properly executed, can help secure a potential win for the team. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like or comment below what you would like to see next, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.